kids, welcome back. I am excited to introduce a new devotional book to you today, and we'll uh, read through it over the course of the next month. Um, it is called God's Names by Sally Michael, and it goes through uh, different names that God has and what they mean, and it's a very meaningful overall book, and it just talks about how we relate to God, how God relates to us, and it's really a lovely book. So I'm excited, and we'll get, this is our introduction chapter, and it's called Names, Names, Names. How many names do you have? Let's find out. There's your first name. First names are names such as Sam, Ruth, Shannon, and Carlos. What is your first name? Then there is your last name, which tells what family you are part of. Nelson, Stewart, Garcia, or Casahara. What is your last name? Some people also have a middle name, do you? But you have more names than this. Other names are called titles, like son or daughter or sister. Does your family use those name titles for you? Does dad ever call you son? Do your brothers or sisters ever call you sis or bro? Maybe you have even gotten a letter calling you Mr. or Miss. Then there are the fun names. The, the are these are the special names that people who love you call you, Sweetie or Pumpkin or Buster. These are called nicknames. Some nicknames are just a shorter way of saying your name, like using Will for William. Other nicknames show something about you, like calling someone with red hair Red or calling someone Speedy because he runs really fast. Do you have any nicknames? Usually, a nickname describes you or reminds you of something that happened to you or says something about the kind of person you are. If you want a race, someone might give you the nickname Champ, short for champion. If you are smart, you might be called the Brain. To have ten names would be a lot. How many names do you have? Let's count them. Sometimes there is a special reason that we have the first or middle name we have. Maybe you are named after someone who was loved by your parents, a grandfather or an aunt or uncle. Sometimes there are clever reasons for choosing a name. If Mr. Joel and Mrs. Jackie chose J names for their kids, Julia and Jesse, we would call them the Js. Sometimes parents choose names with meanings because they want their children to go up to like the meaning of the names, such as Anna Hope and Catherine Joy. Christina means a follower of Christ, so parents might choose that name because they pray their daughter would follow Jesus. What do you think, why do you think your name was chosen for you? Many names in the Bible mean something. Eve means the mother of all living things. Why do you think she was named that? God changed Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of a multitude of nations. The name Abraham showed God's plan for Abraham's life. Jesus changed Simon Peter's name to Peter, which means rock. Peter was not always strong like a rock. Can you think of some times when he was not like a rock? But Jesus changed Peter into a strong, rock-like man who was not afraid to preach about Jesus, even when he was put in jail for his preaching. Now here is a very hard question. How many names do you think God has? 20 names? No, not enough. 50 names? Still not enough. How about 100 names? This is still not enough. The one true God of the Bible has more than 200 names. And if you were to count all the names, titles, and nicknames of God in the Bible, there are more than 700 names. <sighs> Why do you think God has so many names? Remember that a name in the Bible tells something about the person. God is so big, so great, so wonderful, that it takes more than 700 names to tell what he is like. All his names have meanings, wonderful meanings that show how big and great and wonderful God is. The Bible says, And those who know your name put their trust in you. That's Psalm 9 verse 10. Why do you think that knowing God's names will help you to trust him, to know that he is strong and good and in control of all things and able to take care of the whole world and everyone in it? Would you like to learn some of these wonderful names of God? 
In this book, we will learn only a small number of the many names of God, but every name we learn will tell us a little more about who God is and what he is like. Little by little by little, you will see how big and how great and how wonderful God is. So if you'd like to do an extra activity here, look up Psalm 9 verse 10. I read it in the story, but uh, there's more to the verse. Read that whole verse and talk about it with your mom and dad. What does it tell you about God? And, and you can comment under the video if you like. And I'm super excited to continue this book. Uh, the rest of the lessons go over some of the different names of God, and I'm so excited to get into who God's character is. So let's pray and wrap up. Dear Father, thank you for today. Thank you for the chance we have to learn about you and learn about your character and grow to love you more because of how amazing and wonderful and great and big and awesome you are. Um, help us as we go through this book, just studying and learning more about you that we will um, be ready to learn and, and kind of absorb that into our hearts and lives. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time.